Rob here from Rob's Gaming Network in Plamotaku, and let's talk about some weathering. Now, I've been working on a uh, Master Grade Wing Zero Custom. It's been a little slow lately due to work and school, but for some reason I, I just got this itch. No, not what you're thinking. Get your mind out of the gutter. Is it my mind that's in the gutter? Anyways, I got this itch to work on some weathering skills, and I haven't really been apt to trying them on my Master Grade kits because A, excuse me, they're masterpieces. B, I don't want to mess them up. C, Hey, look! I've got a Panzer II sitting down here doing nothing. It's airbrushed, it needs work, it, there needs to be paint on the wheels. Let's just give it a try. Last time I was at Hobby Lobby, I went out and purchased these, and they're like foam brushes, and they're tapered at the end. What you could do is you could dab that in your weathering medium of choice. Um, I use Testor's Enamel Rust, and what you do is it, it can make either good paint chips or rust marks. And if you go and look through these photos here, you're going to see that I really like the way it came out. Now remember, I'm a novice when it comes to armor modeling and all that kind of stuff, but this is kind of new to me. But I'm really happy with the way it all came out. Um, I think the what looks like to be the exhaust is a little bit, a little bit too glossy, and I did dry brush that with a little bit of the um, it wasn't burnt sienna, dark earth, which is the um, the base color here. It's kind of like that yellowish peach sandish thing color. But I think I could just go back there with a uh, a flat coat, and that should take care of it no problem. It, it looks really nice. I like it. There are a couple of raised details, like the, there's a box right behind the bear decal that I painted, and I think that came out really nice, especially with the, the isometric side view of it. I painted that a leather. It, it will look a lot like the rust color. They're extremely close, but they are different. And at first I thought that was a leather strap, and it actually isn't. It's some kind of a piece of metal with a snap. But it's, I, I, I still think it looks really cool. And if you look really closely, you can see where I was really careful, and I didn't want to touch the, the part. I don't want to paint the part that I shouldn't have been painting. So if you look really close down there, I got to get back down in there, maybe with a two seconds of paint, make sure that's flush and even as much as possible. Another thing that, that I would like to bring attention to is that the wheels, and I'm not sure if this is on every single Panzer tank, but on the Panzer II, they had rubber wheels. As it was going on the track, you would see things like rubber chipping out, stuff like that. So I went back and painted the wheels so they look a little more, you know, realistic. And I gotta look up how to add mud and rust under there properly. And I just want to flip and just go balls deep in there and make it look really, really dirty like it's been doing some uh, hard work on the front. So the rust came out really nice. I just need to... There's a shovel I've got to paint. There's a spare wheel I've got to paint. I need to repair the one of the tracks because it is coming extremely loose. So I'm going to have to figure something out there. And this is a kit I put together back in 2008. So you're going to see some seam lines on it, unfortunately. And nowadays, I would have taken care of that. But this was my very first model that I airbrushed. I like how it came out. I probably would have did the paint scheme a little differently. And I definitely would have looked to do some either some scratch building or photo etching, which can really bring the details out on the kit. So I might go back in there with a couple paint chips, especially around the wheels, so you can see a little more variety, but I just wanted to show you guys and girls what I'm up to. I think it looks really nice. It may not be a masterpiece by any means, but I'm extremely happy with it, and really that's all that matters. But I will keep everybody updated on this project, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.